Ow! In your butt cheeks! Fire volley! Catapult fire! Oh, fall back! Fall back! That it? That's all you got! Y'all need to figure out where y'all shooting at. Catapult? Bust my back. What the hell y'all doing on the floor? Get up! I see y'all moving. Y'all can't fake. Sucker. Ah! Oh, hold him down while I execute him. Is there no one else? Hey, Emperor. Are you not entertained? No? Alright, let's go. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. If you guys want to check out some crazy Rise Son of Rome gameplay for Xbox One, go to the homie I'm Blessed channel, check him out, subscribe to his channel. He got a lot of stuff going on. He just got adopted by the face cam family. So uh <laughs> his videos are crazy. But uh we're about to hop into this game against the Lakers. You already know how I do. Um I'm just a rookie in the league trying to, you know, make a name for myself. Right now. I'm a 68 overall, maybe 69. It's hard out here in these streets, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to pay for no more PSN cards. You know, I already got glitched once. But I do got a little surprise for y'all, man. I'm going to let Jive Turkey and X Chase Money take it away. The Euro Step King, a baller name called a day. I'm pod, I'm the point guard calling plays. I'm a rookie, but I'm going through another phase. You see when your coach screaming, yo, he got a J. I'm the best. Who's this Paul y'all speak about? We go head to head, back door, y'all better sneak him out. Out the arena, cause the game, he ain't showing up. When I give him 50, watch my name start blowing up. All the kids with the iPod jerseys on Gave Rose 35 cause I had mercy for him Just a little teaser ladies and gentlemen The full song is on the way Oh man I can't wait to upload that thing to SoundCloud man uh, it, it, It's like making a movie man Real rap but we at the Lake Show home real quick You know what I'm saying we at the Stable Center We about to make it do what it do You know what I'm saying You know I'm not in the starting lineup yet but It's all good all right, I just came in the game, you know. I got zero all across my stat line. But guess what? We going to play hot potato. But you know what I'm about to do real quick. I'm about to hit him with a little bit of back down cheese. Yeah, this this, this is the easy way to get assists in NBA 2K14 if y'all ain't know. Just back down, wait for your power forward to center to cut to the basket and get the easy assist. <laughs> now, uh, what I'm going to try to do this game is not score first i'm gonna try to get a few assists under my belt before i start scoring out here check out the nice little kick out the miller you know he going for three and you know it's cash come on he had the little three symbol under his name come on if he don't make it who else gonna make it <laughs> but they got me on kobe bryant they got me on the black mamba i don't know what i'm about to do so you know the homie get the cookies we out on a break he passes the steezma and he blows the dunk don't know what happened there I'm not even going to try to justify what happened there, but I have been noticing this young boy Roberts, well actually, he's not a young boy, he's older than me, but he just got drafted not too long ago. He gets more uh, point guard minutes than me. It seems like when both of us are in the game, he's at the point guard position and I'm at the shooting guard position. We're going to have to change that real soon. I need to get my ball handling up, my ball security up, my passing up. I need to get everything that makes me a pure point guard up quickly so I can get more point guard minutes over Roberts. Let's keep this thing going, guys. I love seeing the three-point battle like this. Coach D'Antoni, defensively, it did not look like you guys were getting where you wanted to be. What's happening out there? Well, they, they shut the ball awful well. They, uh, they're a good team. You know, if we have some ups to that. We obviously got to play a little bit better. Mike, thank you so much. Kevin, back to you. All right, Doris, thank you. And, folks, make sure to stay tuned in for halftime, and we'll be back right after that. All right, guys, now that we are back, it's the third quarter. I'm setting up my offensive strategy. I'm just tired of guys standing around, then cutting to the basket when I get close to them. So, you know, I put it on auto and put it on freelance actions. I let them do what they want. But I just drove to the rack, got the foul. I'm going to the line. A lot of people have been asking me what's my free throw. If you didn't see one of my latest videos, my free throw is Kevin Durant. It's always been Kevin Durant. And, um, you know, I just like the shoulder shimmy. <laughs> I'm just keep it all the way real with y'all. But uh, one thing I will say about the Lakers, 
they are never down and out. Like, I'm, I know I haven't done anything. I know I haven't, you know, put up any stats right of, as of right now. But Kobe Bryant and Nick Young, they are unstoppable on this game. Swaggy P can hit a three from anywhere on the court. He can also penetrate. And Kobe Bryant is just a black mamba. He has ice cold veins. He can't be stopped. Um, he'll drive to the rack. He'll shoot the mid-range J. He'll put you in the post. He'll shoot the three. And most of the time, it just goes in. And there's nothing you can really do. But offensively, the best thing that I can do is try to get assists and try to get guys that are open. I've been catching a lot of plays where dudes that come over and help, and I'll just pass it out or, you know, I'll kick it down low. And it's been working for me so far. In my first few games, I was trying to abuse the pick and roll. And it kind of wasn't working to my liking. So, you know, I decided to try to find different ways to get my assists off. Now, uh, I just grabbed another rebound. You know, I'm trying to pat in my stats real quick. Now, I tried to pass it out to Evans. One thing about Evans, he's not a three-point shooter. So, sometimes I get discouraged when I pass it out to him because sometimes I just don't want to pass it to him. Now, I hit Anthony Morrow, and he decides to drive to the rack instead of shooting the three, which I guess you could say was the better decision because he got all the way to the rack on Kobe Bryant at that, but he didn't get a foul. So, you know, I guess I guess that was a veteran move that Kobe pulled. He must have looked at the ref as the layup was happening. It was like, look, you better not call the goddamn call. It's going to be a problem in the steeple center. But uh, we just got a steal, and I'm throwing the alley-oop to um, my boy Reek. Now, that's one thing I can do with Reek. I can pass it to him for mid-range jump shots, and I can throw the oop. Now, he may not dunk it, but, you know, that's cool. That's 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 somewhat realistic. I, I, was, I never knew Reek, you know, all my life as being, you know, somebody that could dunk, even when he had his growth spurt. But uh, I just got the cookies on my homie, Kobe Bryant. I'm going to the rack, and, yeah, I'm going to take the shot myself. I can't trust passing it to nobody else anymore, man. You know, it's hard. I passes the Steezma. Well, somebody else passes the Steezma, and he blew the dunk. So, hey, it is what it is. But let's get into this little state foreign play real quick. We'll make it tough to come back. Pelicans lead by 10. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. This was a showstopper, wasn't it? Just a difficult pass to make, and he makes it flawlessly. He set up that alley-oop. The fourth quarter is underway, and I'm glad that I get core, you know, minutes, even though I'm not a starter. It's good to be a six man. Um, I average probably about 23 to 25 minutes, and I really don't have to do much. But I, it ain't about the minutes. It's about this alley -oop. That Yeah, yeah, that just happened. Um, me and Anthony Davis linked up. Um, that was the first time I got off an alley -oop pass in a while. Um, because it seems like whenever a pick and roll happens, the person that gets picked always slides to the basket and are trying to tip the pass every single time. So, you know, I'm kind of lucky that that pass actually got off. Now, uh, I do want to show you guys a little something. That jump shot, it's cash, man. I'm going to just keep it all the way real. Having Steve Nash's jump shot is just, it's remarkable. It's like, it has to be one of the best, like top five jump shots on this game. I'm going to keep it all the way real with y'all. Steve Nash jump shot with a little bit of slightly early. You you just can't go wrong. But um, I was in the paint banging with the big boys. I got my own offensive rebound, but I, I kind of got it stuffed. But uh, it's all good because Chris Kamen is going to put me to rest. RIP to me. Why in the heck did I almost die from a pick? But it's all good. I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Check out the nice step back. Did y'all peep that step back in the paint? It seemed like everybody rolled to the paint. It was like... So, is he going to lay it up? Nope. <laughs> I'm going to shoot the jump shot. And like I said, that was Steve Nash fade away. It, it feels good, looks good, and it goes in probably about, I would say, 70 to 80% of the time. That's cool with me. Just check it out. Just look at the way I kick my foot. It feels good. <laughs> but let's check out the homie Steve Nash coming down, you know, after I recorded that nice little double-double. I'm feeling good, man. You know, I feel like, you know, I can go for a triple-double. I know you guys are probably like, how you going to go for a triple-double? Just watch me work. I just got another rebound. That's four. You know, all I got to do is get six more. And I'm, you know, 
going to the paint. Don't care who's in front of me. You know, I'm going to just bulldoze my way in. But, uh, yeah, that just happened. I got eight rebounds. I don't know how, but I got eight rebounds. And I'm getting the shooter's roll off the pass from the inbound. I feel good about myself. I'm celebrating. I got 20 and 11 and 8. I'm feeling like Michael Carter Williams in real life. Yeah, I know a lot of people like, but I thought you didn't like Michael Carter Williams. I'm a Sixers fan. He's a Sixer. It is what it is. <laughs> but check out Steve Nash trying to get wild with me. Like, I don't understand Steve Nash, man. He's been trying to get at me all game. He's, he's getting a little, a little old. I don't want to have to, you know, put him out there like that. But, you know, age is catching up with him. But uh, I just got my ninth rebound. And I'm trying to call quick isolation. Kick it out to Eric Gordon. And he misses. Yeah, that just happened. I don't know, man. Like I said, Eric Gordon, man, him just don't mesh. It happens, you know. But check out Nick Young, man. He, like I said, he's he's unstoppable. Like, I, I don't know how I got to allow man to score when I'm a point guard. Steve Nash was in my vicinity. And they just said, nah, man, you need to stick the guy that's all the way on the other side of the court or else. But it's all good. I got the up and under off, you know. Got Steve Nash up, up off his toes. So I got 22, 11, and 9. I'm not shooting 50% from the field, but I think that's pretty good. If you think about it, real-life basketball, nobody is shooting 60, 70%. Oh, by the way, I got a triple-double. And that was off of a Kobe miss. And I'm going coast-to-coast. Coast. Who cares? But, yeah, I had to pass it out. I didn't want to force it, you know. I didn't want to get a lower shooting percentage. But check out Eric Gordon with the fake pass. Why in the world? Did he fake pass it? Just don't understand. But then he'll take the shot from Stizma, and then I get a pass for assist. Come on, 2K. But uh, the game is winding down. I don't want to do too much. You know, I, I just was trying to crack him real quick. You know, I was trying to make him fall on his butt. But it didn't work out. But, hey, I had fun. I got a triple-double. I got the W. I'm feeling great about myself. I'm feeling great about my team. Let's get into the press conference, y'all. What's the focus on strategy for this team coming into tonight's game? Just playing hard, you know, uh, you know. We had a meeting today as a team, and then we just wanted to come in and play hard with energy. You know, that's where it starts from, and uh, we did a great job that night. Tariq, thank you. Kevin, amazing what can happen when you play hard. Thank you, Doris. And, folks, that about concludes our broadcast tonight. Or Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching as we leave you with our Jordan player of the game, the captain. Let me be the first person to congratulate you on your spectacular performance tonight. I don't know if you saw the final stat line, but you ended up with a triple-double, the first one of your career. Can we expect more performances like this from you? Uh, 2K, what happened to the player of the game replay? What happened to my 15 seconds of fame? You got, I feel hurt right now. Where, where's my replay? <laughs> Man, thank you so much. My teammates really helped me out tonight and I have them to thank for a game like this. Having the fans cheer me on at the end there made a huge difference as well. The important thing for us is to improve on this performance and make ourselves a better team. You've really been stepping it up lately. I like what I'm seeing and I think we need to get you out there more often. You'll get some more playing time starting next game. Yo, what's up, y'all? It looks like I took over NBA.com for a day. When I got my triple-double, it seemed like the whole news media outlet was talking about me. The only people that was talking about Carmelo was probably somebody in New York because obviously they doing terrible this season. Nah, I'm sorry. No disrespect to Knicks fans. Knicks tape. <laughs> nah, man, but this is IKC signing out. If you have any questions about the beat, go XX Chase Money. He the one who made it. He the one that can provide you with a link or whatever. Look, man, I ain't going to get in the middle of that. But uh, also, thanks to Jive Turkey for making me a song every year, man. Another year, another song, another legacy. Whew, it's about to get crazy out here. Um, also, I am going to get a mix done for my point guard. Um, I think I do have somebody in mind to make the mix for me. But, you know, we will see. But I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like. Peace. Yerp, this is Siri. 
Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.